welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make some like memorial shirts or in loving memory shirts um this is an order i did for a good friend of ours and they turned out awesome and um pretty much you can do whatever picture whatever font whatever anything you want but i'm just going to show you how i design them and all of that so stay tuned I'm gonna open up Fonto or Cricut Design Space. I just use Fonto so then I can um, use the fonts that I have in there because pretty much all my fonts I use are in Fonto instead of my Cricut. I just haven't downloaded in there on my phone app. So pretty much I'm just putting in loving memory of and pretty much he like gave us like an outline. Like he drew it out how he wanted the words placed and everything. So I just did that. And um i put her name and i just did it in like a really pretty cursive that was really easy to read from like far distance because i believe a lot of people wear these at their funeral or at like you know the party after funeral you know like the luncheon or whatever so um yeah i did that and then um this font right here that i was using it doesn't do numbers so that's why it looks weird right here but um, I just did the date, I believe, right here. Yes, the date right here of when she was born and when she passed. So um, I just did like the date dash and then the other date. Um, you can also do like a little squiggly line in the middle. You can do it however you want. But this is how I designed this one. Um, and no, this is not how it's placed on the shirt. I'm just getting everything that I want, like in whatever font I want. So then when I upload it into Cricut Design Space, I can pretty much just place them wherever I want them on the shirt. And then for a few of them, he wanted, I love you, grandma. And then I love you, I think, mama on the back of a few like shirts that he had um so pretty much i just wrote those out in a really pretty font too that was really like easy to read so if you're far away you can read it it's not too squiggly or anything like that so yeah he wanted i love you mama i believe or grandma one of the two or he might have wanted like both of them but yeah pretty much i'm just writing everything out the way he wanted to on the shirt like i said he had wrote out the whole outline for me and everything and like some people like this type of font. Some people like graffiti type of font. It just depends on what the customer asks for. So yeah, I'm just pretty much going off what he asked for and doing so. But um, yeah, this font right here is Hestina. I believe it's called Hestina. I get all my fonts from defont.com. They're free. You download them and you can put them into this app, Fonto. Or you can also put it into the Cricut Design Space. But, um, yeah, I just wrote the word grandma, so then all I had to do was switch grandma and mom out, you know, the mama and the grandma out, whenever I put it onto the Cricut Design Space, which I will show you that here in a second. What I do here now is save this image here. And I'm going to upload it into my Cricut Design Space. You just hit upload and you hit select from library, I believe. And then I just select the image that I just saved. And then I remove the background. And then I'm going to close up and remove every individual like little um, letter on the inside. Which technically, if you want to do this all in Design Space, it's easier. You don't have to like remove anything. It's already on there and everything. But that's just how I design like certain shirts so just so I have like all my fonts all together because like I said guys I'm lazy and have not downloaded all my fonts into the app I have on my phone. So yeah just pretty much I am just removing all of the white inside the letters. Okay so after I upload it into the design space I am going to get a shape and I'm just going to place it over the area that I want you know separated so the in loving of is going to be above the picture so I sliced it you're going to select the shape where the text is you're going to like select both of them if that makes sense and then you're going to slice it pretty much slicing guys is cropping you're just going to put it over the part you want to crop if that makes sense 
So pretty much I just cropped the Korean one, the Karina or Karina, and then plus their date, I cropped that by itself as well. And then I also took grandma out by itself. And then I'm also going to slice out the mama part by itself. If you want me to make a video more on slicing, please ask or comment below. I will definitely do that. It is confusing at first for me it was, but honestly it's so easy and it's pretty much just cropping. So right here I'm just trying to make sure I get the mama part out without cutting anything, which I ended up doing. You'll see how I fixed it. So I selected all that with the shape and I sliced it. And then you're going to um, duplicate the I love you because it is going to go with the grandma one as well. So I just made one to go with both um, just to make it a little easier. So right here, I'm just trying to place grandma. And then I noticed there was that little like mark right there I had left out when I sliced the mom off. Um, so I just take another shape. You'll see here. And I take a shape and I just place it over that little, little dot right there. And then I select the whole little text with the shape and I slice it again just so it takes off that little dot. But like I said, if you have any questions on slicing, I will do a whole video on that just so you guys can get the hang of it. But um, pretty much I just placed it with the grandma and I welded it together. And then I also selected the I love you and the mama and I welded that together. And then pretty much I'm just showing you how I had the layout of the shirt. Um, I already had the image uploaded that I wanted. Pretty much I uploaded it just like you would any print and cut image. So I already had that in my design space. Um, I just was figuring out which one was the right size. And this one was not, I believe. I had to select the other one that was in my layers here. So I just um, hide this one again. But let me just select the right picture here. This is a picture, but like I said, I uploaded this image from my phone. They had already had the image like this. So um, it was already made. I didn't have to design it or anything. So I'm just showing you the size of the words to go on the shirt. I didn't measure the shirts. Usually with like funeral shirts or memorial shirts, I try to make them as like identical as possible. So I do all the same size for every shirt. So I usually just do 10 inches wide for the text on the shirts and um, on the back I usually do about 8 inches wide. Um, I'll put the measurements in the description box below so then you guys can know. But um, yeah, I usually do 10 inches wide for the front, like any text I have, as long as it's 10 inches wide. It'll fit almost any from small to 2x um, just so they all match. But yeah, pretty much I'm just going to cut this now. Um, I did use a long mat just so it's easier to get everything done, but um, you're going to want to select iron on and you're going to want to mirror. Make sure you're mirror. But anyways, for the picture part of it, you're going to want to hit printable iron on dark. I will put in the description box everything I use and all the settings I use in case you missed something or I'm going too fast here. I made this video a while ago, so I'm trying to keep up with myself as well. But um, pretty much the image that I printed, I placed on a mat and the machine will cut for me. But do make sure you mirror. Like right here, you go to edit right there at the bottom and you hit mirror. So um, yeah, I just duplicated this because... I was making a copy of 12 just so it was easier for myself and um, therefore I didn't waste any paper or any vinyl it was just all together but um, yes I selected a big mat there is like a mat setting there you can select a bigger mat so then you have it if you have a big mat you can do that but um yeah so pretty much I'm doing that but make sure right here you mirror everything you want to mirror, 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 mirror. Remember that everything you iron on, you want to mirror. But, um, yeah, guys, so that's how I did that. And it was pretty easy, simple. It takes a long time because there's a lot of shirts. But, um, this is a video of me weeding everything because somebody asked me to show how I weed stuff with the Sicer or Sicer brand I use. It is very easy to just rip off. Like, I know it seems like I'm being rough, but. It literally it stays on to the like paper or whatever 
very well so you literally can just rip off and then um go inside with the weeding tool and weed out all the little pieces of white or whatever color vinyl you're using which i will show an example of that in a second right here so yeah i went in between any letter that it didn't come out of or any you know inside of any word or um, letter pretty much you just take out with the um weeding tool get a tool off amazon to like show you the center of the shirt and all that but i don't know why i haven't ordered one but i just have not so pretty much i just eyeball the best as i can and usually i'm surprisingly really good at it even though it seems hard but you just gotta take your time and make sure every shirt is even and straight across but um yes i am just placing the in loving memory on here and I'm just trying to make sure it's straight right here. I try to like find the middle of the of. So then it went, you know, went right in the middle of the shirt where the tag is. But you can't always go off of that little tag in the middle there. Because sometimes like the places that make the shirts, they even iron them off. Not in the center. So pretty much I just hold it up to make sure everything is straight and not crooked and all that. And this font is different. So it is kind of slanted. So it's a little tricky, but um, just depends on what font you use. So yeah, I am pressing it, but I want it on the temperature 305, 305 degrees. Um, and I do it for about 15, 12, 12 to 15 seconds at first because I am going to be iron on a few things. So it will be pressed in eventually. I will do a, like a final um, like iron on to make sure everything is, you know, in the shirt and is adhered perfectly but yeah right here i'm just taking the image that i cut that i print and cut it is a dark iron on and i'm pretty much just trying to make sure it's straight and it's you know in the middle and then i just kind of like flatten it with my hand and then i put a um piece of parchment paper or um there are them teflon sheets you can get um but the dark iron on comes with it um, a parchment paper so yeah pretty much I just put that on and I start to press it press this for about 10 seconds because it is a picture and then if I'm constantly pressing it when I do the bottom half of this I just don't want it to like completely taking all the black like dye from the shirt or whatever the black color of the shirt and like stain the picture if that makes sense so I only press about 10 seconds at first and then I'm gonna do the bottom half of this shirt now I am placing her name and the date of her birthday and her death date and I am putting it underneath the picture and then I believe I pressed this for maybe another 12 seconds and then um I will press it after I take the like um the top part of the heat like the heat transfer vinyl like the clear plastic part of it and I'll um press it for like another 30 seconds or so or maybe i did not take the clear plastic off but whatever it just make sure you like press it one more like last time before you're done with the shirt just so everything is adhered very well and um just so when you wash it it doesn't come off super easy or after so many washes it doesn't come off but usually heat transfer vinyl especially this brand is so nice again i use the sister brand i believe but um yeah you guys will love this if you do use this one i recommend it over the cricut brand any day i don't know i just don't really like how the cricut brand weeds do you press it one last time this is what it looks like and y'all i love it this one did not have a back part of it but yeah that's how it turned out so guys if you like this video please give me a fat thumbs up if you would like any other videos or have any video suggestions please comment below they don't even have to be business related i'm trying to expand my um youtube channel so um yeah guys i hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching